All right, what I'd like to show you guys is given two points, three and negative two, and seven comma six, find the slope and the equation of the line. So the first thing to solve this problem, I'm gonna use the slope intercept method. And, I'm sorry, not slope intercept, the point slope method. And for you guys, when you're using the point slope method, the main thing you gotta remember is what actually is the point slope form. So that is y minus y1 equals m, which is our slope, times x minus x1. And when we're doing a problem like this, when you have your two points, to solve for m, all you do is you plug in your, you plug in your points. You, you can pick your x and y, and then you can pick your next set of points to be your x1 and your y1. So I'm just going to go back to my problem and say, all right, this will be my x and y, and then I'll make this my x1 and y1. And remember, guys, these subscripts are just how we label them. They still are x and y's, but we're using subscripts to differentiate them between our original x, x and y. So. Now I'm just going to plug them into my um, equation. So I have a negative 2 minus 6 equals m, which I do not know yet, times my x, which is 3, minus 7. Negative 2 minus 6 is becoming negative 8 equals m. 3 minus 7 is going to become a negative 4. Divide by negative 8. I'm sorry. What am I doing? You gotta solve for the L. So you're gonna wanna divide by negative four. And then for M is gonna equal a positive one half. So that is how you go ahead and find the slope. You can also, what did I guess? Um, isn't it positive two? Two over one. Yeah. yeah. Two over one. It is two over one. I don't know why I'm thinking. That's what happens when you start going crazy. Um, all right, so which the slope is positive of one, which we reduce down to two. Thank you. All right, so now that I have my slope as two, all right, now what I need to do is I need to find the equation of the line. We can still use our point slope form to find the equation of the line because now what we've done is we've solved for m. So I'm gonna rewrite the, my format for my point slope form. And now I'm going to put in a 2 into my answer. OK? So now, I'm gonna, now I have a 2 in my answer. So now what I need to do is I already know what my y, um, y1 and x1 are because I labeled it right up here. You could theoretically use this other set of points. But since these are labeled x1, y1, and I can plug in x1, y1, it just kind of makes sense <coughs> to use those numbers. So y minus my y1, which is 6, equals 2 times x minus x1, which is 7. Now let's go and see if I can do my math correctly on this one. So first thing I'm going to do is this is remain the same, y minus 6 equals distributive property 2x minus 14. Then I'm going to add a 6 on both sides. I get y equals 2x minus 8. So therefore, now I have my equation on my line and I found my slope. So that is how given, when you had given two points, how you find the slope and the equation of line using the point-slope formula.